All right, guys. Um, good afternoon once again. So today we would be working on. We will be working on elif statements. Prior to now, we've worked on if statements and also we've done else if else statements. So today we'll be working on elif statements. What elif statements are? What um the what's the name? What is the syntax for elif statements? And uh, we would give examples on how to use elif statements in our code. So that being said, um, Nifemi and Daniel, I'm going to ask which of you have um your code updated? Okay, Nifemi, you have your code updated. Great. All right, Nifemi, you are free. You can share your screen. Or rather, rather, um, I'm going to let let me let me share my screen. I'm going to explain what elif statements are with my screen. Then after that, uh, we will do an exercise together. Does that make sense? So I think a lot of people don't understand it yet. So let me just try to share my screen. Thank you. Yes. All right, I'm going to share my screen now. Mm. From top, reference. Mm, reference. So, screen, let me know. Can you see my screen? Yes, sir. All right, thank you. So today we'll be talking about elif statements. The writing, the writing is too tiny. All right, I would increase that now. I ban now. Yes, sir. It's better. All right. Thank you. So, guys, now let me explain what elif statements are to everyone before we start. Sorry. Yeah, I can see someone's hand up, Marcin. Uh, no, my hand isn't up. I was just confirming that I could hear you when you when you asked earlier on. Apologies. Okay, okay, okay. All right, good. Uh, let's continue, guys. So we'll talk about what if statements are. Uh, sorry, elif statements are. Now, does anybody want to help with what elif statements are before I actually explain? Elif statements in Python. Anybody, somebody. Anybody? Hello? Nifemi? Carry on. 
so um so elif statements are like um they are like used with if statements so if a condition is given in an if statement and that condition is not meant we use elif statements to so i'm not really sure like how to put it so but like we use elif statements to give another condition thank you or something nice like try. that nice try any other person All right, who could that be? Um, I have someone someone raising their hand. David. So it's like saying if like the other conditions were not true, like we should use this one, use the the condition that is about to be printed. Okay, good. Um, a quick question, guys. Um What's the difference between if statements and if else statements? What's the difference between both of them? Anybody? Anila, you are muted. The else statement, the else statement to carry out. Please, can you repeat that? So. Okay. Can you repeat what you said? It um I said that it means that um when um when the condition of the if does not carry out. Or does not go. So the the else statement, the second condition will, will go um be carried out. All right, good. What about if statements? So can anyone hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So what I, I said what about yes, I can if, hear you, sir. What about if statements? That's for if else statements. What about if statements? Any idea? Hello, Anila. All right, for Lashike. So, like, if statements are used. To state like a condition or, a, par or a, um, a special requirement for a code. So it's like directing the code, making the code more specific, saying that the only thing this code, the only time this code can work is if you use, if it has so, 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 and so, or it's black or it's white or any, anyhow that you put the if statement. But it's just used to make, a code more specific. Okay. What about if else? <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening. I don't know what if statements are for. I don't know that one. All right. Zainab, thank you for the contribution. Zainab. Is it if statement and if else or only if else? Both. What is the difference between if statement and if else statements? Okay, so if statements are used based on conditions, if else are also used based on conditions. But when there's else, that means if 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 the if statement is not going to be carried out, then it's going to be the else statement that will be carried out. Whereas if statements only carry out if, if not, then it doesn't code. It, the code doesn't run anything, doesn't display anything in the console. When the, it's if else, then 
if the code that we are running is not for if then if if I get 100% correct. So guys, Zainab is correct. Um, Eniola is also correct, but did not explain the other part. And um, Falashike is also correct, but did not explain the other part. So putting it together from every, what everybody said. Now, if statements, use if statements for one condition. Do you understand? Why if else statements, you use them for what? Two conditions i would explain that yeah so if i'm saying this if statement i can say if it's a boy right if it what a boy what should you do give him what let me say trouser or something now if what if it's a girl what should i do nothing I'm only saying if it's a boy, right? Now, that is that on his statement. But are, are you guys listening? Do you get what I just explained? I need to know. Do you understand what I just explained? Yes, sir. All right. Now, what if... What is the function of if-else statements? So, for the if-else statement, we can say if it's what? If it's a boy. What should we do? Let's what? Um... Give give him trouser, right? Um, trouser. Else, we don't care even if it's a girl. The else statement does not care even if it's a girl. If it's not a girl and it's not a boy, the else statement will just say, give him something. Give him anything. The else statement is not specific. All right, somebody wants to ask a question uh david so your the boy is not is not on that string no 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 i'm just trying to explain with this condition you don't don't worry about this this is just explanation this is not a code i'm just okay. writing more like a pseudo code do you understand yes sir all right thank you now again guys look at it for the if statements, we were like, if it's a boy, give him trouser, do something. We don't care, just do something. But for the if else statement, we are saying, if it's a boy, do this. But if it's not a boy, now, if it's not a boy, what could it be? Is it compulsory it's a girl? I don't know. I think um, using gender, a lot of people, okay, if I'm using gender, I can say just male and female, boy and girl. Let's use something that it's not gender. Let me say, if it's blue, give him something. If it's not blue, do the other thing. Do you understand what I'm saying? So let me uh, make it more specific to something that, um, should I say, is not just um, binary or something. So let me say, if it's blue, let's say, do something. Um play ball and if it's if else right um do something else let me comment this out and try to explain it everyone here just the thumbs up thumbs up if you are here so i can explain what i mean Nobody. Hello. All right. Good. Thank you. Yes. Now, let me explain what I'm saying. Now, if you look at this now, if it's a boy, do just one thing. It doesn't care if it's not a boy, right? That is what the if statement does. Now, for the if else statement, what the if else statement does is it's telling you if it's blue, do this. If it's not blue, do the other thing. The else statement is not specific. Do you understand? The else statement is not specific. When I mean it's not specific, you are saying if it's blue, do this. What if it's red? So what the else statement is telling you, every other color that is not blue, do the same thing for them. Now that is where if else statements, sorry, elif statements what 
comes in. Now, with elif statement, we are able to what specify. Remember, we said the if statement is not specific, but with elif statement, we are able to specify that. Oh, if it's not blue, sorry, if it's blue, do this. If it's red, do this. If it's green, do this. Now, this is what I mean. So we can say if what if it is what blue. Do play ball. Elif. That's the way we write it. This is the syntax. The syntax is what? Just say if, then elif, then the condition. Now, this condition could be what? If it's what? Black. What do you want if it's black? Um, play song or something. Or play music. We can have as many elif statements as possible. We can say if it's what? Um, orange. Sleep. Remember, these are just examples. They are not the way you write them, though. But I'm just using it to explain in a layman term. Do you understand what I'm saying? So we can now specify that, okay, oh, at the end of it, after specifying all the color we want, we can now say, do what? Any other thing. Or do something else. Do you understand, guys? Does anybody understand? Any question before I move into the coding part? Any question? Hello? If you don't have... Okay, David. Yeah, good. Okay, sir. Why does the... Why does the elif... Why does the elif statement come before the else, else. statement? Can the, now, the else statement come before the elif statement? Thank you. Now... Why does the elif statement come before the words, the if statement, uh, the else statement, correct? Now, think of it this way. Don't let's think about it programmatically. We would answer it programmatically too, but let's think of it in this way. The first way is syntax. Is that also? That is how it's written in Python or in most programming language. Now, the second case is, let's look at it logically. Now, when I mean logically is that, now, you want... This first, if it's what, if it's blue, right? Do this. Remember that once you put the else statement, the else statement is saying, finally, I have exhausted all my options. Now, when you put finally that I've exhausted all my options before more conditions. Now, what the early statement is just saying, you are putting another if statement. That's all we are doing. We're just putting another if statement. Now, you put in an else statement before the early statement is syntactically wrong. Do you understand? That is, when I put else here, it is what? Syntactically wrong. That is, in Python, it is what? Incorrect. Does that make sense? Or logically, is also wrong. When we talk about errors, we'll see more on all of this. Does that make sense, David? Yes, sir. All right. Um, Baba Tunde, you wanted to ask a question. Yes, sir. Um, sir, I really don't understand. Are you doing something else? No, sir. My connection is bad. I just joined again. All right. Again, I was explaining the early statements. Do you understand? Are you there? I'm sorry to interrupt you, but like I didn't on that like from the beginning, I wasn't. Is she still here? Hello. Yes, I'm there. Okay. Do you understand? Yes, sir. I said, do you understand if statements and if else statements? No, sir. But we did if and if else statement last week. Were, were I understand. A, I understand if statement, but I don't think I understand elif. So explain if statement to me. No, I've not start. I've not explained elif. We we just started elif today. I'm asking you about if else statement. Do you understand if, if else statements? No, sir. Okay, you said you understand if statements. Can you explain what if statements are, or give me an example? What do they do? Um. The syntax is if condition colon 
statement. Okay, good. Now, why do we use if statements in our program? To know the condition and the statement. No. You are jump packing it. No. Are you there? Yes, sir. Why do we use them? Well, I'm not so sure. So I will say it again. And um, I, I always tell you guys, I want you guys to have a book that you jot down things. Do you understand? I, I don't expect you guys to remember everything. There are so many information you need to grab. You can't remember everything. That your is book, that your, book, phone. your book should always be your reference. You could have a tab, you could have a book, you could have anything. I think I can use a tab for my company. You should have something where you jot down everything you learn. <coughs> Baba Tunde, your background is so noisy and it's affecting. Um, Sorry, sir. All right. So again, why do we use if statements? If statements are for making decisions. Conditional statements. Basically, if statements, elif statements, um, what's the name? Switch or L, um, if else statements. They are used for what? Making decisions. Now, what is decision itself? Decision is like um, you have various options. Do you understand? Because you only make decisions when you would have options. Now, we have various options and we need to make what? Decisions on these varieties of options. What do I mean by that? I have two options here. In my class currently, I have boys and what girls and i could decide to call what you see i said decide decide is what um having, should I say? having a decision yeah decide to make decision is that not so i could decide to pick what a boy or what a girl so if statements are exactly to choose i could choose to pick anybody either a boy or a girl do you understand so when we want to make decision programmatically, we use what? Conditional statements. And we could use any of the conditional statements. We could use the if statement, we could use the if else statement, or we could use what? The elif statement. Now, where... yes, can you repeat that? I said, when you want to make decision programmatically, when I mean programmatically, I mean either in Python or any other programming language. Although different programming languages use what's their name um use different um um should i say just different technique some program python does not support switch statement but different program language like um, um javascript java they support um switch statements but python supports only three conditional statements do you understand basically do you understand basically i mean basically that is for beginners or should i say intermediate or even generally they are going to work anyway and the three conditional statements are what the if statements the if else statements and finally the elif statements and as david has said the elif statements is equivalent to what else if that is you are saying else you are putting another condition do this for me we would see all of this programmatically as we move on. Does that make sense, everyone? Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. Good. Good. So why do we use if statements? That was the first thing I was explaining before you joined. The reason why we use if statements is that what we want to make just, we only have one option. Or we want to make decision based on one option. That is, if it's A, we don't care about any other option. Like, for example, when I'm marking as a teacher, do you understand? I just want to mark the correct answers. Is that not so? I could choose to mark both the correct answers and also the wrong answers. Is that not so? That's the correct option and also the wrong option. But all as a teacher, let me say, all my options have been A, 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 all true. 
All I just have to do is what? If A, do this. I don't care if it was what? If the student pick B or pick C or pick D. All I just have to do, any question or any option I see A, I mark it correct. If the student decides to pick C, I do not mark it. Do you understand? That is if statement. Is that not so? But for if else statement, for if statement, I could say, if the student pick A, mark it. Else, fail the answer. Do you understand what I'm saying? That is, I'm saying, if the student pick anything other than A, fail the option for that student or fail that student for that particular question. Now, for the early statement, I could say, if the student pick A, mark it correctly. Elif. If the student pick what? B. Mark it partially. If the student picks C, give the person a quarter word mark. Else, fail the students. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah, David, you have a question. <coughs> Sir, is it, meant, is it meant to be Elif then the condition? Or no, no. Elif, if... I'm just... It's meant to be Elif the condition. Elif the condition. Okay. Else. Else does not have any condition. Do you understand? Because we don't have to check, mate it with any other condition. Yeah, Baba Tunde, you have a question. So my question is that since like if is choosing only one option and um, elif is like there's a little exception, what is if else? Can you repeat that question? Uh, my question, you know the, exa the example you gave about a teacher giving students um, giving students an exam and if they change the answer in if statement that they will miss it and in early statement there can be a little exception but in if else statements what happens? If I'm correct I can somebody interpret that question for me, please? Yeah, anybody, anybody. If you understand what she has said, you can, David, if you understand what she has said, can you interpret it? Thank uh, you. She's, she's trying to say that if, okay, you said in if statement, mm -hmm. if the person is right, you mark it. In, in early if statement, else. The, if, if else. The, Okay, she just said that in if else, what will you say? Like, because I've already said for if, I've already said for elif. She just said that in if else, what would if you do? it is if else, like, what will you say? Okay, okay. Is that what you are trying to say, Baba Tunde? Yes, yes, sir. Okay, as I was explaining, I said, I think I even made mention of if else before elif. I said for if statement, the teacher said, if the students or if any student picks A, mark them correctly. Don't check if they pick B or they pick C or whatsoever. Do you understand? Don't mark them. Now, for elif, sorry, for if else statements, the student is the teacher says mark A. If the student pick A, mark it correctly. Else fail the students. Do you understand what I'm saying? That yes, is, sir. The, the, the marking program or the marking script does not check even if B is, um, should I say, um, a partially correct answer or um, something that you could consider as a teacher. Do you understand what I'm saying? You're only saying you have to pick A to be correct. If you don't pick A to be correct, B means what? Wrong. C means what? Wrong. D means what? Wrong. That is the purpose of if else statement. That is, when I have an option, pick A. Okay, let me give another example. Now, I'm saying in my class, I want only boys to enter through this door. Now, what do I do? Now, if a boy comes through that door, I check, is it a boy? Yes, come in. That is for the if statement. He doesn't care what you do with the remaining or the other people. Do you understand? He doesn't care at all. He's just saying, is this the boy? Yes, come in. What if it's a girl? He doesn't even do anything with them. Just leave them at the door. Do you understand? 
Now, for if else statement, if else statement states that what if it's a boy, come into this class. If it's a girl, tell them to go to what to the next class. Does that make sense? That is for for if else statement. Then how does elif statement function? Now, elif statement will say if it's a boy, come into this class. If if it's a girl, go to that class. If you are neither a boy or a girl, go to the other class. Else, that is anything that is not a boy, that is not a girl, or that is neither a boy or a girl, but maybe man or, um, not man, let me say bisexual or something. Let me say dogs. Anything that is other than a boy, a girl, a, a bisexual, would all what leave the building. Does that make sense, anybody? Does that make sense, anybody? All right. I could see Zainab makes sense. All right. Uh, Nifemi made sense. Okay. Dami, Falashike, Omar, Victor, does it make sense to you? If you have any questions, you can ask your questions. All right. Okay. Baba Tunde, does that make sense to you? All right. Falashika, you can speak. Does that make sense, Baba, uh, Baba Tunde? Something else. I didn't hear so I just logged off and logged on because my connection flashed again. <sighs> connection issues. All right. But do you understand what if statements are? Yes, sir. Do you understand what if else statements are? Yes, sir. All right. Um, okay, made sense. Now let's proceed. Okay, let's proceed. Now, let's go to um, writing this programmatically. Let's see what and how we are going to do this. So, good. Um, let me start with, what's the name? Where's the replits? Okay, good. I think, okay, this is a new file. So, I think we all understand now. So let's take a condition. Let's try to do it together. Uh, I would try to print a number and um, the number would, I'll give an exercise. This will be the exercise. The exercise would be um, print even or odd. Or prime. No, I think even odd or what's the name? I think those are the main. This is what we're working with. Uh, what's the name? All numbers, right? Yes, sir. It, it could either be even odd or prime. Um, what else should I do? So now let's do this yes, with um our early statements. Now, how do we do this? What is a prime number? Anybody? What is the prime number? Falashike. A prime number is a number that cannot be divided by any other number other than itself and one. Thank you. Um, Zainab. A prime number is a number that can be can only be divided by one or itself. All right. Um, Anu? So a prime number is a number that it's only itself and one that can divide it. Okay. All saying the same thing. Thank you, guys. Now, what is an even number? Anybody? Your hands. Anybody? Yeah. Lisa, what's the question? 
what is an even number? Zainab. An even number is a number that can be divided by two without a remainder. Great. Falashike. An even number is a number that is divisible by two. What's the keyword? Keyword any number two. Is, any, any number is divisible by two, but there's a keyword yes. without having any remainder. Or should I say yes, the remainder is zero? Any... Good. Thank you. Yes. Now, what is an odd number? What is an odd number? Anybody? What is an odd number? Okay, for last year. Oh, Victor first. Victor. Victor. Number that cannot be divided by by two. Okay. Cannot be divided by two. Is there any keyword? You are correct, but is there any keyword? So All I right. cannot be divided by and cannot be divided by itself. Every number can be divided by itself. Do you get Zainab? So me. Or oh, let's um David. David. Oh, who was speaking? An odd number. An odd, an odd number is a whole number that can that cannot be divided into two equal parts without a remainder. Okay, thank you. Correct. So, fantastic answers, everybody. Thank you very much for that. So again, an even number is a number that, when divided by two, has no remainder. While an odd number is a number, when divided by two, does what? Have a remainder. While a prime number is a number that is only divisible by what? One and what? Itself. So we want to write a program that will check if a number is prime or a number is even or a number is what? Is odd. Again, do you all have the question? I want you guys to write the question down. Because I won't be the one solving this. You guys will put me through what to do. We want to write a program that would dictate that would dictate if a number if a number is what is even odd or prime. Have everybody, everybody digested that? So now, what I would do before I start, I would give you guys an opportunity to do this uh, more like a minute. I don't want you to write a code or something or write the code that would do this. I want you guys to think through this question. How would you have done this if I've asked you a mathematical question? I want you to write step by step of how you would do it. Don't paste it in the chat. When it's time to paste it, I'll tell everybody. So we all have a minute to do this. How you would have done it mathematically? Like when you are using your basic mathematics, what would you have done? Excuse me, sir. Yes. I'm, yeah, for last year, I can hear you. Write, like, write, should we write a you can program? Say, no, no, no. Don't a write a program. Don't write a program. Write it in plain okay. English. In plain English, first thing to do is I'm going to do this. Second thing to do is I'll do this. Next thing to do is I'll do this. Do you understand what I just said? So don't you don't need to write any program for this. I just want you to do this um, plainly.
All right. If you are done, I want to see your hands up. It's almost one minute. If you are done, let me just see your hands. Just um, thumbs up or something. Or okay, good. Somebody done. Zainab done. Any other person? Okay, Victor done. Any other person? Okay, Dami done. Any other person? I want everybody to participate. Provided you are on this call, you don't need to get the answer again. As I always tell you guys, you don't have to get the answer. We are all learning here. So please, I always want everybody to use to participate. You don't have to be shy. I just want you to participate. I think Dami dropped off. Yeah. Um, Omar, are you done? If no, just give the silence face. Um, Emed Young. Daniel, Anu, Nifemi, Falashike, David. Okay, Falashike, are you done? Great. Okay, Falashike is done. Um, are you done, Anu? Thumbs up if you are done. Okay, good. Uh, Daniel is also done. Daniel, you can raise your hand but, now. That thumbs up was not mine. Okay, good. So don't let's waste so much time on, on it. Now you guys can paste your answer if you're done. Paste your answer to the chat. Paste your answer to the chat. What you've written down. I want you to paste it in the chat. What you've written down, I want you to paste it to the chat. Dami, you're back. Welcome back. Again, I said you should paste your answer to the chat. What you've written down, paste it to the chat. So we can start from there. I'm going to use you guys' solution to write this program. So that I want you guys to see how programming actually works. It's not magic. It's not, um, it's not um, uh, what would I call it? Um, miracle. It's you yourself thinking and you are writing it to the computer. Do this for me. This is what I've written in plain English. Now you have to translate it to that programming language you are using. And the computer will do it for you smoothly. Now good. So if you guys are done, let me know. Okay, David, I see. I said not a num. Don't write the code. You can, if, can you delete messages? You don't need to write the code. I need the thought process not the code again i don't need the code i don't need anybody's code all i need from everybody is your thought process i could copy a code from online i'm not saying you copied it from online i could write a code from anywhere nobody cares about your code everybody cares about what what you are thinking now i want you to write your thought process david Convert this, your code, to your thought process. I need to understand how you are thinking, not the code. I don't need the code. Thank you very much. Nifemi, are you on this call at all? I have not heard from you today. Are you here? Nifemi, are you there? Okay, I think Nifemi just is not is not with us today. All right, Zainab. Okay, Zainab dropped. Um, Dami. Okay, Zainab is back. Zainab, you can paste your answer to the chat. I would really appreciate that. And every other person. For Lashike, you can paste your answer to the chat. Or are you typing it? Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Okay. Any other person wants to paste the answer other than what Zainab has pasted? Okay. I like Temi's answer, which is Anu. 
at least in English. For Lashika, if you can also write how you derived 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, I would appreciate. You see the way um, Arno has written on our own. is well explained. Do you understand? I want everybody to emulate that. If you could do the same thing. Yeah, but back in the Anu. Yeah, I know. All right, quick one. I think everyone is wasting time. I need to proceed by solving this. And then we would have to solve it together. So if you are interested in helping solving this question, you can raise your hand. So I can code along with you. If you are interested in solving this question with me, you can raise your hand so I can code along with you. All right, Baba Tunde, I see your hand up. Thank you. All right, Falashike, I see your hands up. Thank you. Um, so first and foremost, make sure your background is not noisy. I'm going to pick both Baba Tunde and also Falashike. Make sure your background is not noisy. If your background is not noisy, okay. Zainab also wants to help. Good. I would call the three of you, but just make sure your background is not noisy. So it's everybody could hear you well. So the three of you can unmute yourself and let's try to write this code together. You can unmute yourself and let's try to do this together. For Lashike, you are currently muted. Anu, you are muted. Okay. Zainab, you are still muted. Okay, good. Now, while they join, I think Falashike, for, for okay, Anu is also unmuted now. So, good. Zainab, you are still muted, though. Sir? All right, good. I said you should unmute. Let's try to solve this together. You raise your hands. Okay, good. Now. Okay. What do we need? What's the first thing we need, guys? What's the first thing we need? Um, um, uh, we What's need... Uh, I think we need something to do. The same thing. The same I method to determine a number if it's even odd or prime. All right. Any other person thinking? Any other person thinking? Um, I think what we, what we, um, so take the input from the user side. We, oh. I think we should take the input from the user. All right. We're going to just put the number into the code. So the first thing is what? Let's get our number. So let's say number is equal to what? Uh, we cast the number. Know why we are casting the number, right, everybody? You know why we are casting the number? So impute what? Um, you can say, please enter a number. Makes sense. Now, once we do this, what's the next thing we have to do? Anybody? Um, so we write if number is equals to prime number. If number is equal to what? Prime Number. Then you should do something right now. The first yes, thing we sir. have to do is the first thing we need to do, we have to define what a prime number is. The prime number is that number that what is only divisible by what one and what itself. So I have a question. Okay, ask your question. So my question is that we're meant to look for even other than prime. Why are we yes. doing prime first? First. Okay, good. Now, why are we doing prime first? A number can be even and prime. Do you agree to that, everybody? Yes, sir. Why? Give me an example of such number. 
two. Exactly. So I can like, hear you. Can you hear me now? So I can I hear you. All right, good. A number can be even and prime. At the same time, a number can also be what? Odd and prime. An example of such number is what? 13. 3. 3. 11. 13. Even 5. No. Yeah. The, exactly. All those numbers are odd and also prime. what? Yeah. 11. 19. 17. 13. Exactly. Thank you. 17. Um, 19. Zainab, can you hear us now? Hello, Zainab, are you there? Now, this question is um, a bit tricky. This question is a bit tricky. And I just thought of it now. I just crafted the question that I think is something that would be difficult for you guys to solve. And I will explain why. Now, to get a prime number, we need iterations, which I don't think we've actually explained or I've not explained to you guys. We've not no. touched exactly. So it's going to be very, very tricky solving these questions with you guys. Do you understand? I could do it for you guys here, but you guys would not understand what I'm doing. So what I would do is, rather than doing odd, even, and prime, I will only do what? Odd and even. Do you understand? And any number that doesn't belong to what? There's neither odd nor prime. All numbers are odd or prime, if I'm correct. Am I correct? Is either you are odd or you are prime? Hmm... Okay, let's just do odd prime and um, let's just say there's nothing. Let's say nothing in this case. Let's start with that. Now, remind me, when we talk about um, for loops and while loop, we will do that question together. That is, even odd or prime. I would be really interested to doing that question with you guys. But in case anybody wants a solution for that, I you could tell me, you could chat me up. I could help you code that and then if you understand, great. Now, let's start with this. A number is even if that number is divisible by what? By zero without a remainder. I'm sorry, by two without a remainder. Now, how do we get remainders in Python? What operator? What isometric Mod op Modulo. What? Modulo, thank you. The T is I'm saying if number modulo two is, is what equal to what zero, we want to say what print what print what print what number this, num this number is what even. Am I correct? Elif. We can say what if number we want to check if a number is what is prime. What's the condition again? That is the number divided by two would what would have a remainder of what of one. Am I correct? Would have a remainder of what of one. So that is number modulo two would equal to what one. Then I can say what print what. This number is this number is what is this number is what this number is odd. Or let's try to cast this to float. Let's cast this to float so that we can pass it with decimal number. Now the else statement works. As the last parameter, or should I say the last system? So we can say else, we can say print what this number is neither what neither 
odd, no what? Not, not even. Now, who doesn't understand what is on the screen? You can raise your hand. Everybody, everybody can mute now. If you don't understand what is on the screen, raise your hand. All right. I can see many hands up. So let me start with Nifemi. Nifemi. Sorry, so that was a mistake. All right, great. You can lower your hand. Thank you. Um, Baba Tunde. What? So my question is like, since we don't know the number, how are we sure the number equals to one? And we and and which one are we printing first? Is it either the odd or the or the evil? Okay, thank you. I would explain that, Victor. Sir. Victor. Okay. Sir, I didn't raise my hand up. Oh, your hand was up actually. Um, but sir. I didn't see it. Okay, okay. Um, I'm sorry, sir. Umar, I can hear you. You have an example. Sorry, I can't hear you. Can you speak louder? Like, I'm trying to hear you. So, trying to speak very, very loud so I can hear you a bit. You have an example of, or can you type it in the chat? Because I know I can hear you. You said I have an, so would you type it to the chat? Just scream yes, then I will know. Okay. Um, just type in the chat. This session is going to end in six minutes. So I really want to explain this quickly. So to what Babatunde said, that is, she said that how do we know the number? We don't know what the number is. How are we, or how do we ascertain that the number is this? Remember the concept of variables. The purpose of variables is just to say, oh, this value for me. I could have replaced this one with what? With two. Or I could have replaced this one with what? With two. Do you understand? But I don't want to do that. The reason why we don't want to do that is we want to be able to change the value as we code along. That is, every time the program runs, we want to change this value. Remember that we could have changed this to what? To five. And our program will run automatically. But we don't want to do that. We want the user to pass in what? their own desired values. Do you understand, Baba Tunde? We want them to pass in their own desired value. No, now, let me give you a trick as programmers. As programmers, you need to be able to think as your users, per se. And how do I say so? Now, remember that we've done this here. Now, think of it. What could you have done? You should think like, okay, what? Think of it. You remember this game that we play? Think of a number in your mind. That is what we're actually doing here. Think of a number. That number, divide it by two. Does it have a remainder? So now I want you to think of a number. You don't need to know what the number is because we, right here, we don't know what the number is currently. We are only thinking that the user will pass in a number. Now you need to think like the user that, oh, the user would pass in five. So you change this number in your mind as five. Now, 5 divided by 2 is remaining what? Is it 0? If this is true, do this. But we know that that is not true. Right? We now come back to the next statement. The next statement will now be what? 5 modulo 2. 5 modulo 2 is what? 2 remainder 1, which is true. Then this will be what? Printed. Now, let's change. You have to change that number in your mind again. Let's change that number to 10. Now, 10 again. 10 Modulo 2, what is the answer? 10 zero. modulo 2 is 0. Is that not so? Which means we should just print what? Now, once this is printed, it doesn't execute any other part. It stops. Your program stops automatically. Does that make sense, Babatunde? Yes, sir. Are you sure? 
somehow, sir. Ex ask, ask your questions. You don't have to be shy. Ask your question. Do you, what part is it that you don't understand? Let me know. So I understand you.